So in Discord's never-ending pursuit to piss people off on Reddit, they released this new font. Now, I personally don't like it, and you read the video title already, I'm going to show you how to change it back to the old font. Now, keep in mind, this video has a tutorial, but it also has an explanation on why people don't like it after the tutorial, and the reasons why Discord changed the fonts, because it's a little more in-depth than what they portray on their official blogs. First off, tutorial time. We need to go to the first link in the description, and we are downloading Better Discord. Now, if you don't know, using Better Discord is against Discord's terms of service. However, we are just using it to theme Discord, and generally speaking, from what I've heard over the past two years, no one has been banned for using Better Discord to theme their Discord. So you shouldn't entirely be worried, but I just want to put that risk out there just so you're 100% informed. Now what we need to do is click on the big download button, it will download Better Discord, and we want to open up the installer. Then when we open up the installer, we just want to accept the license agreement, click on Next, then click Install Better Discord, and click on Next, and this is where we need to select our Discord version. If you just went on Discord and downloaded Discord normally, then click on Discord at the top. However, if you use Discord PTB or Canary, which are just different releases of Discord, then you just need to click on whatever one you have. Unfortunately, Canary is broken right now, so if you're using Discord Canary, you cannot use better Discord. For most of you, if that made no sense, just click on the one at the top and click install. Then what it should do is restart your Discord. It should say install completed, and when Discord opens up, if you go to your user settings and you scroll down, you should be able to see this better discord section that means we did it yay that was very nonchalant but now we need to go to the second link in the description now this is a fancy dancy theme that one of my viewers made and it's probably the best theme i've seen in terms of reverting back to the old font you want to click on old discord font .theme .css. then we just want to click on raw then once we click on raw you should see all this text then all you need to do is right click click save as and you should see that we are saving old discord font .theme .css, and the save as type is dot CSS. If it's like all files or TXT, just make sure it's .css. Then once you have that, click on save. Then it's pretty simple on what you need to do. I'm going to move my uh, my Chrome to this side, and then I'm going to have better Discord on this side, and all I need to do is go into themes, open the themes folder. You'll notice I have a couple other themes. Yours should really be looking like this. Then when you open up the folder, it'll open up File Explorer somewhere, so just look for it, and you should see it's admin app data roaming better Discord themes, and we just want to drag in the theme that we downloaded into the themes folder. And once we do that, we go into Discord, maximize this bad boy, you enable this theme, and oh my goodness, the text is just so much better. But anyways, the old text is back. So that's how you get the old font back. Now, if you're on mobile or whatever, well, that sucks. <laughs> sucks to suck. So let's get into why people really, really hate this font. I mean, if you go on the r slash Discord app subreddit and you just search font, there's a lot of people complaining. Now, there actually is a tangible reason why in terms of people that have, you know, vision issues. So astigmatism, this is a, a, a simulation and it's not perfect, but this font, I mean, if I open up the image. What is going on? I can barely read this stuff now. To be fair, it's lorem ipsum, so it's not actual words, but the letters are extremely hard to read. And depending on the angle of your astigmatism or whatever, it either looks worse or it looks better. In this case, it looks like someone deep fried the text. And like worst case Ontario, this is how it looks. So not very good. And this is compared to the control font where nothing is going on, where it's it's a little bit easier to read. Even if you don't have an astigmatism or any vision issues, the font is bad because of Windows, to be honest. Uh, Windows is really bad with fonts. Yeah, there's something called clear type and you can mess around with the settings. But if I go back in a Discord, and I just quickly undo that theme. So now we're back to the old font. I'm going to explain to you why I absolutely hate this font and I really hate it. First off, the font itself is actually kind of okay. If I press Control and plus on my keyboard, I can actually zoom into Discord. I do this all the time for videos to make it clear. But as you can tell, if we just go to like any chat and just look at the messages, it doesn't look too bad. The font, once you zoom in, looks pretty okay, right? Looking at the font on embed specifically, this is the sore spot for me. This is where I really think the font's hard to read is in embeds. Right now, it looks perfectly fine. But with Windows clear type and the way they kind of uh, rasterize font and stuff, when you start to zoom out, things get pretty bad. I keep on zooming out, and this is normal Discord zoom right here. And as you can tell, the bold font specifically is kind of hard to read. But here's the thing. I don't use Discord at normal zoom. I actually zoom out one tick more, so that's control and minus. And this is how my Discord usually looks. And let me tell you, the font is extremely hard to read. Now, Discord changes aren't just magic. They don't come out of thin air. Of course, Discord's a big company, so it had to go through a handful of human brains to think of this idea. And what is the reason behind this font? 
font change. Well, if I open up the Chrome internet browser, and, and by the way, everyone keeps asking me, how do I make these little kind of tab groups? It's automatically done in Chrome. You can just control click on tabs, right click, add tabs to new group, new group, name it whatever you want, choose a color, and kaboom, now you have tab groups. It's great. So why did Discord even change this font, right? Well, if you go onto their little article page, this one is one of the stinker articles because, oh my gosh, let me just read this beautiful section. The meaning behind GG Sans. GG Sans highlights one of our favorite characters in our new typeface, the lowercase g. Yes, we named our font after a single letter that we thought looked good. Also, it's an ode to our gaming origins. GG is an abbreviation for good game, if you didn't know, and is frequently used on our platform. It's also baked into the foundation of our company, using discord.gg in any of our shared links. If you couldn't tell, this is Discord explaining to their corporate or whatever investors or whatever's going on that we made this font because it's cool gamer font. But anyways, let's go to the FAQ because of course the FAQ must have something important. Uh, what do I need to do to get the new font? That's really just a whole lot of crap. Uh, they're missing the question on how do I get back the old font. But our second question here, can I use the custom font for my own projects? And the answer is GG Sans is not currently an open source font. So you're not able to use it at this time. Now, what this question indicates, and also this whole entire blog article, is that Discord made this font. They own this font for their own platform. So why would Discord either hire some company or hire someone in Discord to make this whole font so that everyone could hate it and crap on it on Reddit? Well, it's because the old font, Whitney, is not a font you can use for free. There are fonts on the internet where they're open source, you can use them for anything, but Whitney is one of those fonts where you just have to pay regardless. Will this website get upset that I showed the Whitney font without having a license for it? I don't know, okay? But I want to make it clear that this font you need to pay for. This raises the question, how much does Discord pay? And I'm going to be honest here, my math is uh, crap at best. It is just a full-on guess. It's just to get a ballpark on how much Discord probably or might be spending on this font and the reason why they changed it. So, Discord is a website and it's also an application. However, for the application, I need to email this website and if I email them, they'll probably tell me to piss off and I don't feel like getting yelled at today. So, I'm going to go through the websites portion. Now, for this websites part, there's two different options. Now, I'm not entirely sure what Discord is using. I'm just going to assume that it is self-hosted because we also have different pricing plans for how many page views and this is where the math starts to go a little off track here. We're assuming it's self-hosted and the way that this works is that you have to pay a certain amount of money a year. On the left here it says subscriptions start at $200 a year for 250,000 monthly page views. So the more people you have visiting your website, the more you need to pay. And if you didn't know, Discord has a lot of people visiting its website. Discord in 2021 has had over 140 million active monthly users. So we're going to use the statistic that 140 million people use Discord. So 140 million people use Discord a month. Generally speaking, it seems like the average Discord user, the US Discord user, uses Discord for nine minutes a day. So we are going to assume that the average Discord user opens up Discord once. So we're going to get a lower value than what Discord probably pays for, but that could be kind of balanced out by a bulk discount that Discord gets. But let's just assume 140 million monthly page views. So 140 million and we have our plans here. I'm going to choose the self-hosted plan of 1 million page views per month. So this means that if Discord had 1 million people visiting their page a month, they would pay $359 a year. However, we have basically this is per 1 million page views. So that means all we need to do is multiply this number by 140. So 359 and we have $50,000. Now, let me make it clear. This number is a complete guess. I pulled it out of my rear end. But $50,000 a year just to use a dinky little font in your chat app sounds like a lot of damn money, if I'm going to be honest. And even Discord, Discord's a massive company. They really don't make that much. I'm pretty sure they're probably losing money each year. And there are a lot of things that indicate that, which I'll talk about in a future video. But Discord definitely needs to try and find savings somewhere. Anyways, I'm going to go and uh, make my own font. It's going to be called the No Text to Speech font, and it'll just be really poor handwriting, and it'll be the best Discord font. And Discord, I will charge you $50,000 a year to use my fancy new font. Anyways, I bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.